Many people try to dribble too high. Obviously, once the ball leaves your fingertips and goes to the floor, it's a free ball. The main thing is narrowing the gap between the floor and your hand, so if you need to maneuver the basketball past a defender's hand, you're able to do so. The thing I want to stress about dribbling this basketball, it's much like playing with a yo-yo. What goes down smoothly will come up smoothly. What goes down smoothly will come up smoothly. It can't be real jerky. It cannot be. It's got to be nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Notice my four fingers and my thumb are controlling the basketball. It'll pretty much do exactly what I want it to do. The same is true with my left hand. Four fingers and the thumb spread out controlling the basketball. It's very, 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 very important that you can control the basketball with your fingertips. Notice my movement's not jerky. I'm not pounding the basketball. Another big mistake you see with ball handlers is they dribble too hard. They dribble too hard. It's got to be nice and smooth. The next thing I want to talk about is making sure that your legs are shoulder width. Once you get to the scrimmage area from triple threat position, it's important that you understand you cannot dribble the basketball in this area. The basketball must be dribbled right on the exterior of your body, right out in front of your body. The purpose for that, that's with the right and this is with the left. The purpose of that is when you take off running, your feet don't get in the way. Your feet do not get in the way. That's a critical and vital importance to you being a good dribbler. The other thing, this basketball is round. When I drop this basketball, it comes straight back. When I drop a football, it's going to go every which way. But this basketball is coming straight back up. So you can rest assured, with fingertip control, you don't need to look at the basketball. Now I want you to notice, as I do what I call the Michael Jordan dribble, which is one, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. And then I start to maneuver this basketball. I do not have to look at it. Although my speed is not real fast, I do not have to look at this basketball to control it. It's all fingertip control. Everything I'm doing is fingertip control. Everything I do is with my fingertips, and I'm working on my control. So hopefully you understand the importance of the fingertip control. Hopefully you understand the ball must be on the side of your body. To maneuver it, you must spread your fingers out, make your hands as big as you can make them to be able to control the basketball.